What's up, guys? Danny here, VIP Outdoors TV. Um, have y'all another reaction um, on the Brian Laundrie case? Bro, let me rephrase that. Brian Laundrie, Gabby Petito case. Um, I was scrolling through YouTube there, and uh, anyways, this person, KC, uh, oh, I'm gonna take take that back. Quick clips. What they call themselves, KC. Anyways, they had uh, posted something that caught my attention and I wanted to know more about it. So I clicked on the channel and started scrolling a little bit there. And didn't find what I was looking for, but I found this Brian Laundry arrest warrant released to public. Or Brian Laundry, Wyoming arrest warrant released to public. Well, that's a warrant. It's also an indictment paper, too. And if you know, don't know anything about indictment papers, a warrant and indictment papers, then when you issue a warrant on somebody, you get the indictment. And it goes along with the warrant. That way, whoever authority is that arrests you, arrests the person, they have to fill out this indictment. And according to this source, this person has, which I haven't seen any of it, and I get, I've been getting paperwork off the charts because I am a, I'm registered with the uh, Sarasota clerk to get notification when new uh, paperwork was released on the Brian Laundry petition case. And a few other cases that he's tied to. Um, but I haven't got any paperwork about this. Which, it was December 3rd. And uh, I've been having a lot going on. I probably do have the email. I just haven't really paid attention. I need to go through there and scroll through a little bit. Maybe I do. But uh, I'm going to take this person's word for it. I mean, it's stamped. Because... It's got a filed stamp on it, so maybe that's what it is. But uh, let's get on with the video and let y'all see what I'm talking about. Here we go. All right. The arrest warrant issued for Brian Laundry. Hold on a second. Get that out of the way. Stated that he was a risk to the safety of the community. Okay. And says right here, um, talking about that's the actual warrant, but the warrant is from it's not from the state of Wyoming, it's from the best it's from the FBI, because it says United States of America. That is a federal warrant. That's not the state of Wyoming. Because feels the state of Wyoming, you'll say the state of Wyoming. Versus Brian Christopher Laundry, okay, but those Wyoming FBI. So, anyways, if you can't read that, it's zoomed in here in just a second. Here we go. Right here. Um, get this crap out of the way. It says right here. It says eligibility of case. The United States moves for petition. I mean, for pretrial detention of the defendant pursuant to 18 USC, whichever that code is. I don't know what that code is. If you know that code, leave a comment down below and tell us what it's about because I have no idea. Eligibility of case. The case is, is eligible for, detention, for a detention order because the case involves the following. Serious risk of defendant will flee. Get that other stuff out of the way and safety of any person in the community. Okay. The way I see that, the FBI has Brian. There's no, hands down. 
Brian's in custody. The remains that was found in the reserve, the Carlton Reserve, or Macahackett, my Yakahatchee, my however you say that, that was staged by either Northport Police or the FBI. More than likely the FBI. They're they're crooked. They're they're just they're just the FBI. They they do their own thing. They do whatever and get away with it. I don't like them. But anyways, they was put there. Them remains were put there. Okay. They knew the flood waters was going down. The resources and the re the um, funds was running out, and they had to come up with a plan very quickly. Okay. This my this is my speculation on this. This is what I think. So everything was the funds was running out, which the money was running out, and they didn't have no other way to fund this. And they's like, hey, we gotta come up with a plan. We gotta come up with it quick. Okay. So what they I think what they done was they went in there a couple of days before, or day that before. Uh, Chris and uh, Roberto went in there and found him in like 30 minutes, found the remains. And then, but anyway, they, so they planted them remains because if those remains were actually Brian's and he was in there before this, however long they was supposed to be in there, them cadaver dogs would have found those. They can smell rotten flesh. I think they said two foot underwater. Okay, hmm. go figure. And it was all up in that shit where he, where his remains was. It ain't no way in hell them dogs didn't smell that. Okay, and those remains were put there. By, I believe, I mean, I'm saying maybe the FBI because North Fort, they ain't got the funds or the resources to pull off a stunt. But, uh, I think they was put there, and I think Bertolino said, oh, well, they called me and asked, should, should I call, they wanted to go search, should they go, or call the, anyways, they called, the, he called the Northport Police, and Northport, more, blah, Northport Police assisted them, along with the FBI, okay, the FBI has done told them, hey, look, we done did the planted this over here, before take break, take that back, rewind that back a little bit. FBI, the whenever Christopher Laundry went and did this little search with the FBI or whoever that was on the Green Gator thing, John Deere Gator. He went in there and put the uh notebook and put the little ins and odds in there. That way they make it all look hand good to me. Make it look all good and stuff. Make it look like it floated around a little bit. And let, you know, let it soak in for about a week or two. Then boom. All of a sudden, they want to help search again. Because the park's open. Yeah. So they go in there and they veer off the path a little bit. Boom. Found a drive bag. Hmm. Well... He didn't want to give it to them. There wasn't no police officers around, so what happens? He holds on to it until he finds one. Well, he found one. He gives it to them. They get all of a sudden, while he's giving them the dry bag, the cop gets a phone call. Oh, we think, think we found something. We think we found something. Tell him to go home. Don't that sound kind of odd and fishy? I think it does. Just think about it. Just sit down and think about that. Let it soak in tonight or whenever you let it soak in as you're driving to work or whenever you watch this. Let it soak in while you're driving to work. If you're watching this when you get off work, let it soak in while you're going to sleep tonight. Think about this, what I just said. It, it makes sense. I have copies of the, I have videos, a video of the Brian Laundry death certificate when it was released from Northport. I mean, uh, Sarasota County. At first, it had me fooled a little bit. But the more I got to reading it, the more I got to studying it, it's not real. It's fake as fuck. 
the more I look at the Brian Laundry thing, FBI was one running out of funds. They had to come up with something quick, so they staged 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 it where he looked like he Brian Laundry committed suicide. Because if he committed suicide with a gun, self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head, wouldn't there be a gun nearby where the remains were found? Hmm. Okay. I, a shell casing something okay for one FBI running out of funds two for it, I think for them in order for them to uh, go further in this case they had to uh, also plant them plant that or stage look like he's committed suicide they get the media and the public off of their ass so they can do their investigation because you had Jim Bob over here calling him hey I think I seen Brian Laundry over here up on here in the application trail over here in North Carolina hey I thought I seen him over here in California I seen him up here in Memphis Tennessee I mean every 10 minutes they had somebody call him I guarantee it. So it's like, look, we can't do nothing with these people calling us like this. We can't put the manpower, man, manpower, like manpower out there looking for him and doing this investigation. Something's got to stop. So it was planted. I think it was planted there. You know, it was running out of funds. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry in the United States was calling them. Saying I saw Brian Laundry, and three, get the media and the general public off their ass so they can get their investigation done. That's my speculation. That's what I think happened. Because I have paperwork. I mean, I have paperwork, like literally paperwork. Too much to do a video on. Um, if I was to print it off, my printer would retire. It would say, no, I quit, I'm done. That's how much paperwork I have. And that's what I think happened. I think that's what, you know, what's going on. But uh, anyways, enough of me talking. Let's get on with this video, please, shall we? All right. But Northport police and the FBI found it okay not to release that he had a gun. He never had a gun. Missing gun belonged to Brian's parents was made public due to friends. Wasn't wasn't made public because it wasn't made public because he never had it. Okay. Hmm. I'm just saying this, but I think Brian Laundry is still alive. But I'm I'm speculating a little bit. If Brian Laundry, if those were really Brian Laundry's remains that they found, Brian Laundry did not commit suicide. Somebody shot and killed his ass. Walked up on him, pow, dead. And they were smart enough to take the gun with them and pick up their shell casing that they shot his ass with. That way, it would make it look like he's killed himself but guess what where's the damn gun because it ain't around there and i haven't seen no evidence <clears throat> no i ain't seen or heard of anything that's been found except for that one that was found <clears throat> excuse me the one that was found in DeSoto park or wherever that place is whenever they all went on their camping trip or whatever anyways the whoever that guy was that Found a fishing, found a gun fishing. It was tied up with, I think they said it was tied up with meat or something. <coughs> and put in a public bag, which I don't know. That's what I've heard about it being tied up and tied with meat, with meat to it or something like that. 
who in the right mind is going to use a gun as a weight? But anyways, that's besides the point. Brian Laundry, people, is a lie. Okay, there's too much evidence. I have, I have some, I have, I have one thing that might can link to the in the description also down below. Y'all be sure to check that out. Um, I have a few things. I'm gonna link a couple videos down below that I've posted that uh, that people. I mean, I pay attention to detail, but uh, people. They get to talking on these videos and stuff, and all of a sudden they like they skip they they talk about it, but then they skip right on over it like it never like it didn't exist. And I get you know like this video right here, I watched it and I was like, wait a minute, does this girl even know what she has? This girl has the indictment papers on Brian Laundry, along with the warrant, which I have. The, I think that's the, that's the FBI warrant. That's the federal warrant. That's not the Wyoming, but. Yeah, she has the actual indictment papers of him being arrested. This girl right here, she does not know what she's got. Her her channel should be viral, and it's quick clips. Y'all be sure to check her out. Um, I put a link down below and for her channel as well. So y'all be sure to check her out. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, VIP Outdoors TV. Y'all be sure to subscribe, hit that like, and be sure to share this, because this is this is groundbreaking. And this video was reposted December the 3rd of 2021. So, you know, y'all be sure to give this chick right here, give her a shout too. This chick, she's a hero. She just don't know what she has. So, y'all be sure to, on VIP Outdoors TV, be sure to hit that like. That's, be sure to subscribe and please please share this share this all over the world because brian laundry y'all he he in jail until then this is danny dip outdoors tv signing off face love y'all